got some sad news. What is your problem this morning, Oi? It's fire that, and I gotta get my sugar to go away. Um, my niece called me. It's seven o'clock. It's seven twenty-four right now. Uh, her husband died. Uh, he's in his sixties. Uh, oh, he had a, a claim of cardiac arrest. What she just said. Uh, makes everybody else's life look a little petty, don't it? My trouble's a little minor. Uh, he said he woke up, didn't feel good, but he had had heart trouble. And they, um, One fifty two. He took a couple of aspirins and uh of course he still smoked now mind you. Lit him a cigarette sitting down on the porch and had an attack like she performed CPR to the ambulance driver got there and they took him over to a little neighboring town probably fifteen miles away and he didn't make it even to the little town. But he was, uh, he had come to, well, she, before the ambulance had got there. I know by sugar levels, I can't help you, you lost your collar. I used to help you up here with a collar. Uh, so, she'll let me know more about it as it comes on. Uh, I think I... I told you about my medicine fiasco already. I don't really want to go into that. You get damn headache. Uh, I forgot to let the generator uncovered last night, but I did. Uh, uh, roll up all the windows before the rain came. It's cooled off this morning. Makes you think and wonder. I just got up. It's right now just looked. Uh, Almost 7.30. That phone rang and rang and rang. I go, who in the world's calling me this hurt? Usually if you answer the phone, it ain't good news anyway. I don't know. Makes you wonder. Hell, I don't know. Can't wonder about everything. I guess God's just been good to me. <laughs> he's, there, he's punishing me one or the other, and I hate to chuckle, but I just keep, a, keep on ticking. Shut up, boy. Be mad at everybody else. I got into it this morning. I couldn't even talk on the phone. I got attached to that phone. They got into it. Pup's been outside so for three or four minutes while I went to the bathroom. And I called that number back, which was my niece. I knew it wasn't going to be good news. Go away. All I need. occasionally and smoked pretty heavily yeah you got to do all things in moderation and smoking you need to quit 100% it caused heart trouble and everything else What he had. Uh, I know the house wasn't paid for. It was almost paid for. That's what happens to a lot of, I know a lot of women that's nomads. And it wasn't by choice. It was by, uh, they had to. Because see, the retired, 
Both of them are retired, and both of them's got an income, Social Security or whatever. Well, when the sp one of the spouses dies, it's it's easier on the, the uh, male to live, you know, like me, my wife died. Because usually her social security and stuff wasn't that big. Well, when, on the other hand, that uh, when men die and they they were the, the major breadwinner, that's what I'm trying to get at. It's, it'd be hard on the on the woman that's left. They'll they they'll probably raise her check up. I don't know, twelve to a thousand, twelve, fifteen hundred, less than fifteen hundred dollars. Well, if their bills are fifteen hundred, like, some house payments are fifteen hundred dollars a month. They wouldn't know way in the world they will survive that. So usually they have to sell their house, buy them something to live in. Usually they live either a lot of them don't become nomads, but a lot of them do. They either buy a van or something to move into, RV of some sort. Travel trailer, something. <sighs> My wife's social security wasn't all that big. It said that, and I had other income, so I, I didn't, you know, other than missing her, I, I didn't pay much attention to the finances. But a lot of women can't say that. They really can't. Makes it hard on them. Well, you figure if you, you rent your place or you can't even get anything here on your local home of five, five fifty a month, six fifty, somewhere in that area. Come on, jump up here. Uh, so therefore if you was getting twelve hundred dollars and you spend a half of it for rent and half of the other that's uh, the six hundred that's left Utilities and stuff like that, you ain't got much. I had to look to see who that was since she's coming back. She was driving back home crying. I said, Why are you driving? She said, Well, I gotta be in control of something. I said, You need to let your sister drive. So I don't know. Uh, she's sad. Little guy, you're covered, you've knocked it off of the floor, and now you want me to tend to you. Go find another one, or lay in the floor. He won't lay in that floor. He'll go back to my bed and crawl in it. He's staring at his mama wanting him. hurry to go get that quilt. <laughs> it's cool in here, very cold. I didn't cover up that air and that generator I was working on. I'm sure it didn't hurt it, though. I had the air filter covered up. The cover that came with it. Maybe it washed it off. But I did, uh, let's see, what did I do? Oh, they had some sports wipes in buckets and pails. I bought, uh, there were four dollars. I had bought one prior to that day for eight dollars, and then I bought some for four dollars. I can't do words. And, and I bought some talent deals that goes on to, let's jump up here, come on. Well, you made it now with my help. Oh, shut up. He's telling everybody I'm on on I'm setting my daddy and go away. Uh, what was it? Oh, I bought the little Swiffer wet things that you put on the end of your Swiffer bottle. I already use one in the kitchen. I use one every day to use it. Uh, I got an old fashioned mop. I guess it's the ringing the damn thing out that irritates hell out of me. I just throw the damn head of the way and buy another one. <laughs> well, I do. Yeah, I don't. Uh, uh, a friend of mine said, well, you got so damn many cell phones, I don't know which one to call. The one I'm taking a video right now is the one I, I use. It's my at and It don't take as good a video as that other one does, but I gra that's the one I grabbed this morning. That's what I answer. Now the other one, that new phone, I give it to my kids and my grandkids. 
case of an emergency. They call that, I'll break my neck trying to get over to it. This one here, my nieces and nephews. And then, good friends, maybe I'll give them the phone number. Oh, shut up. And then that other one I got, the rising. That's just spam mainly. I don't even answer it. And the house phone, I ain't never gonna answer that damn thing. They're always trying to sell you siding or asphalt or some crappy crap. Well, I'm gonna stay in the house today because it's, it's sort of damp out there and I won't catch pneumonia. And I've, I've wanted a bunch of, do a bunch of stuff. And it wasn't, his name was Lavoid. He uh, wasn't doing anything, really. He just had got up for the, the morning. He just passed away. Uh, about, I don't know, an hour ago. He just got up to meet the day, and that's what happened to him. But he had chest pains for quite a while. I don't know. I had to call my sister, but you know, she just got back from down there and rode the train back. She's been probably the last one up here to see. And I was planning on going down and staying a couple, three days. They got a great big old place out there. I don't. But I used to go to Lake Texoma because I love to fish. I don't hunt. I got a hunting, lifetime hunting and fishing license. I ain't killing Bambi hell fish don't have no, I don't think, well, I don't know where fish got brains or not, but it don't bother me to eat a fish. Well, there's enough dead deer on the road the other day. Well, I went and got my medicine, I run through, oh, oh. Driving by and seen two or three of them laying on the side of the road. The deer population is really high. Seen a little bit coyote, I felt sorry for it. He was a real young one. Got hit by a car. Hell, I ain't hitting none of that shit. If I see it, I'm stopping. If I see one on the side of the road, I'll slow down to 20 mile an hour. What the hell do I care? I had one deer up here when I was used to, was going to work a long time. I have an old Oldsmobile car, white one. It hit me in the side of the door, knocked off the side beer, and it laid the road in front of me. And I was getting up, maybe it, 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 it hurt his nose. And uh, he was unconscious or whatever, and I thought he was dead. So I was going to go up there and put, take it off the side, you know, pull it off the side of the road, it got up and run away, thank God. Uh, but it ran into me. I didn't run into it, it ran into me. They'll jump through the side window and everything else, and through the front windshield. Uh, I gotta check. It's awful sad. That wasn't what I wanted to talk about. My nephew passed away. Nephew in law, what do you even call it? Dogs settled down now. You're always on the side of my leg. As long as I take my medicine, he's fine. He'll sit with me for about, I don't know, an hour. My blood sugar goes down a little bit. And he's up and gone. Oh, God. Uh, well, I ain't got much to say other than that. So make every day, about, about the video, the moral of this video is get up or whatever and make every day like it's your last day. Make sure you don't leave no open, unended ends that you tie tied in. You gotta, you know, make sure you got everything covered. Cause you don't know that might be your last day. Uh, but, and if you do smoke, you need to quit. Cause I think that's what contributed to his heart trouble. In my opinion, I'm gonna let you go. I don't even think she's made, I don't know if she's got a prime directive or already pre-made funeral arrangements or anything.
gotta go. I'll talk to you guys later.